Well, it's season three of Turkey Hunter TV, and we managed to capture some cool stuff last year despite all the COVID and all the shutdowns and stuff. We got some neat turkey hunts, and we want to show you guys. We kicked this season off at South Texas Hunting Outfitters with Hayden Mensick, and we got the whole crew together, and we're excited to get after some of these hard goblin South Texas Rios. Well, needless to say, we're very excited to get the first turkey hunt of the year underway. It's something we look forward to each year. It's a long ways from home, but these turkeys are hard gobbling, they're fun to hunt, and we're excited to get after them. What about it, fellas? Y'all made it. We made it. Good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, man. <laughs> Hello, good to see you, Lamar. How you doing? How are you? Hayden Mincy. Nice to meet you. Well, what thanks for coming down, guys. Thanks for having us. We're yeah. excited to be here. We've been seeing a lot of turkeys. I think y'all are going to have a really good hunt. We're fired up. We got some north wind blowing. We just had some rain. We brought, y'all brought Yeah, y'all brought that with you. <laughs> Come back in July when we really need it. <laughs> it's beautiful out here. This camp is nice. Oh, Thank yeah. you. Looks good. Thank you. Yeah, seen a lot of birds? Seen a lot of birds. Yeah, it should be really good. These birds haven't had any pressure. Uh, had a good hatch last year. Yeah. So I think y'all are going to have fun. Oh, we're excited. Yeah, I'm excited for y'all. We see if we can put something here. to bed. I know we got a rain chance tomorrow, but it's not going to be. Yeah, it's some showers, you yeah. know, but kind of normal for this time of year. Yes, sir. Uh, this wind's going to lay down tonight, and it's going to be cool in the morning. Keep the snakes away. There you go. So <laughs> awesome. we'll, it'll, it'll be good. We're, we're fired up about it. Well, good. Hey, come see what it looks like inside. Right. Well, this is our hunting camp. Wow. This will be, be home for a couple days. Can you spend three days here? I can do it. <laughs> I can do it. I think I'll manage. It looks pretty neat. Very nice. Well, season opened the next morning, so we had an afternoon to scout. So here we are. This place has three creeks. Okay. There's a creek right here behind the camp. And these birds have been hanging out right here. There's, there's the opening that's behind the camp. These birds have been hanging out right here. And then you can see the creek on here. Oh, yeah. And they're hanging oh, out again, it. getting over here. Yeah, it runs all the way through the property. So we all pile up in the Camp Bronco, and we go take a tour of this beautiful ranch we're going to be hunting for the next four or five days. Well, this is a pretty good sized ranch and we're just tooling along, you know, we're having a good time, keeping our eye out, you know, for good looking places, roost trees and whatnot. And we get about two miles from camp and sure enough, we have a tire blowout. We're in South Texas Turkey Camp with Hayden Mincy and we have had a flat tire and it's pretty bad. It's a Boone and Crockett flat tire to be honest. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a major flat but it wasn't flat when we left. That's right. We're about two miles from camp though. We were, we were four. We're, uh, <laughs> look, I refuse to walk. I've done, oh, I've, I'm I've, I, no, <laughs> no, nobody's, no, we're going to rim this thing all the way back because I've walked more miles from being out of gas, being broke down, flat tires. I'm done. I'll call an Uber before I have to walk back. I ain't walking it no more. It's pretty, it's pretty bad though. Well, we didn't have a spare at all. So all we could do is ride the rim all the way back to camp. <laughs> we on the rim, but we good. Turkey Hunter is brought to you by Browning, the best there is, Indian Creek Shooting Systems, Midwest Turkey Call Supply, Replica Decoy Company, Apex Ammunition, Strut No More Turkey Totes, Knight's Hunting Products, and Browning Trail Cameras. Well, as luck would have it, a big front pushes through and most Texans would be happy about rain, but it meant we were gonna have a wet opening day. Well, we're fired up. It's opening morning, south zone of Texas, and I think we got some turkeys put to bed. I'm here with Lamar. Him and Reno are up to bat this morning. Y'all know Lamar. He's been on the show a few times. <laughs> it, this, this is the big Texan they have a hard time hiding. <laughs> we get him here though. We get a turkey dead. <laughs> got a little wind this morning, a little cool. It's kind of strange for this late in March, but uh... There's turkey here. That's right. We're excited. It's a new ranch. <clears throat> Open in the morning. What more could you ask for? We're fired up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, 
Well, opening day has finally arrived. There's rain all around us. We look at the radar. We thought we had about an hour, hour and a half of hunting before the heavens opened up. So we eased down really close to camp off the hill there. And uh, Hayden has been seeing these birds roost there a lot. We figured that was a good place as any to try right there next to camp before the rain hit. We set up, we're hearing birds gobble in the distance, but we didn't get to sit long before the bottom fell out. Well, uneventful morning. They gobbled on roost, we just couldn't never get one to break, and then the rain got us. As you can see, it's starting to pour. But we're gonna have some breaks in the day, so if we can catch a break where these turkeys can dry off a little bit, I think we could probably get them activated and get one to come to the call. So we're gonna dry off and get back after them when it breaks. So we're at camp twiddling our thumbs. We don't wanna let this rain beat us. So we talked to Hayden, he's got some pop-up blinds. So we go set some pop-up blinds up. Lamar and Seth head one way, Reno and I head the other way. So we put the blinds up in the driving rain in hopes we can pull a bird out of our hat on this opening day. All right, guys, <laughs> Reno and I are set up. Sorry, there's not much for me to be, but it started raining again. So we had to get the blinds set up as fast as we could. But, uh, we actually, there was actually a gobbler out here when we pulled the truck around the Sendero. So that's okay, we're in a beautiful spot right here. They call the oak patch. We got the RDC strutter out there in the feeding hen. It looks like a great place to kill a turkey. So it's good and open. And on a wet day like this, these turkeys want to come to open areas with short grass. They can preen, strut, gobble, do that thing. So we're going to give it about 20 minutes and we're going to go to calling. And we're going to see if we can't get a rip. What do you think? I'm ready. Here on Turkey Creek Ranch with Hayden Mensick. We've had a crappy morning, but we can turn all that around like that. So, we're still optimistic. Well, Reno and I are kicked back in this blind just watching it pour rain. About an hour goes by, 45 minutes, and I'm glassing with the binoculars, and I glass the top of the hill there, and I can see a long beard has popped out the edge of the food plot, but he's on the other side of the fence. So I immediately tell Reno, I was like, there's Longbeard right there. And I crank on that ceramic as loud as I can, and he can hear it. And I can see him gobble, but you can't hear him. It's raining so hard. You know, he doesn't act like he's completely interested, but he's showing a little interest. And I crank on it again, and he goes plumb across to where I can't see him on the edge of the woods and disappears. And I'm like, what's, what's the deal? I guess he's just not interested. Of course, he can't see the decoy because there's some tall grass out there. And uh, I just keep calling. And all at once, he pops back out. He's just got that committed look, and he starts progressing toward us. Well, we're working this bird. He's coming to us. It's, he's slow rolling, but he's coming to us. So I just keep pouring the calling to him. I know he can't see the decoys because of the angle, you know, he's at, and there's some tall grass in the field. I know he can't see them, but he's, he's coming to the call. He progresses, progresses. He gets to about 150 yards and he kind of hangs up because he can't see those decoys. So I just start fight purring anything I can do to bring him over. And finally, he works his nerve up and starts crossing the field toward us. Well, the bird gets to about 100 yards and he can see the RDC strutter at this point and his demeanor changes completely. He goes into the mean walk and he starts running right at the RDC.
that. <laughs> oh, <a> turkey hunt, <laughs> brother. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Come on. <laughs> hey, hey, that's how it's supposed to work right there, brother. Come on. Ooh, that's my yeah. dog. Yes, baby. Man, he got some good ones. <laughs> He's a good one. <laughs> I tell you what, my my best Rio ever. He's a hammer. Mm -hmm. He's got some incredible spurs. He does. <clears throat> we could see him gobbling through our binoculars, but we couldn't hear him. So he finally turned around and came right down that lane over there on the edge of the tree line. Russell called, he'd gobble. He finally turned and came across this field trying to see what he was hearing. And he finally saw it and when he did, <laughs> it was over. It was run. over. <laughs> he covered some ground in the decoy. Those last 60 yards were covered in a hurry. Yeah. And he put a whooping on the old RDC out there, that strutter. We got some cool footage, but to kill a turkey like that in a thunderstorm with your new shotgun, your new mm -hmm. Maxis, Browning, Browning Maxis shotgun. Yeah. What kind of choke you got in there, Rena? That's Indian Creek, Black Diamond Strike, 670. And I found my Apex Hole TSS bullet. It put a hurting on his head, I can yeah, tell it you. Did. It gave him some whiplash, son. Well, turkey hunting is about adapting. And that's what we did in this hunt. We didn't let that rain whoop us. We went and got a pop-up blind and we walked out with a bird on our shoulder. I mean, that's huge. That's what turkey hunting's all about. Day number two was looking a lot better. The rain was gonna move out and we had a game plan for the next morning. Well, we were fired up to see what day two had in store. Seth and I had a roost location picked out on the edge of a creek. The only problem is it was a pretty good hike to get back in there to it. Well, we're easing into this roost location, trying to get as close as we can, but not too close. We're slipping along, and all at once a bird hammers to our right, about 100 yards. And it's not just one bird, there's several birds in there. Well, we go into freak out mode. We're trying to find a place to set up and hide everybody. We got Lamar, which is about seven foot five inches, and we gotta hide him somewhere. We got Reno, Seth, and myself, and we, we see the shooting box to our left. So we're like, why don't we just tuck in next to this shooting box and we can see down the Sendero where these birds are roosted. So we tuck in and we get to calling and birds start hammering. I mean, I, I had no idea how many male turkeys were right there. But we're, we're sitting there rubbing our hands together like this, <laughs> hoping, it's, hoping it's all long beards. Well, finally, a big gobbler flies down, but as soon as his feet touch the ground in the Sendero, he leaves. He gets, he gets the heck out of Dodge. Well, birds start pitching down, and sure enough, there is a wad of jakes, and they're heading right to our decoy spread. Well, we're sitting playing with these jakes. We got about 10 to 15 jakes right in front of us, 30 yards at our decoy spread. We're all kind of focused on them. I cut my eyes to the left and I see a long beard pop out with a couple more jakes 
and he's right up on us. He, what he's doing is he's skirting the edge of these jakes. I guess he's done had his tail whipped by him, and he's skirting them, but as he skirts them, he gets a little too close to us. There's no way for everyone to get over, you know, get the camera position and everything over toward this bird. He's 10 steps. Well, he sees us, and the game's over. We sat in amongst them this morning, but no cigar. I think there was a couple of long bears mixed in there. They were just kind of apprehensive. We had one break and start coming to the decoy, but I don't think he was going to the decoy. I think he was cutting wide. And he just got too close and seen us. And it, it just is what it is. Bunch of jakes, lots of jakes. So, I think it's gonna dry up, fall, so we'll get out of here. This afternoon should be a lot better. Maybe we can get some that are by themselves and want to come to a turkey call. But these Jake's got this jobber right here jitterbugged. He don't, he won't even come to a call. He'll probably come to a call, but he'll come in silent. You just never know. And we're kind of in a bad situation right here. We need to get somewhere we can get hit a little better. Well, morning two wasn't a complete bust. We had a turkey in range and that turkey would have been dead if we ain't had a video camera with us. But that's just part of turkey hunting and especially videoing turkey hunting. <laughs>